Okay, so this is the Record Power SC4 scroll chuck package, 129.99, which I think is good value for a 4 inch 100ml chuck. See what we've got. In a bag, plenty of grease. Let's take it out of there, wipe some of that off. Right. It's really quite heavy, which is nice. So I have got a the uh, SC3 chuck, which is, let's push you over, there on the lathe, and uh, that's a slightly smaller one, and it's got no, uh, it's got no back on it, uh, so the, uh, so the gears are open, but to be honest it's not been, it's not been a problem at all. Bring you back over there. Give it a nice little wipe. Right, I have a. Um, that's an M33 by 3.5 thread on the headstock. And with this chuck comes the uh, chuck insert. Hopefully, will fit nice and simply. Uh, there's a grub screw there. I presume that's for locking it off when it's in reverse. Just take, whoops, take that out. Make sure I don't lose the grub screw. Put it in there. Give that a that's coated in grease again or oil. Give that a little wipe. Pop that into the chuck. All right. There is a um, there's a hole there. I'm Presuming that's for the. I start to read the instructions. Not my favourite thing. Little plastic cap. I would guess goes on there to stop it damaging the, the thread. Yep. I'll have a little look on the instructions just to see if that's the case. Oh, I've just seen another little grub screw as well, so there's probably one for the insert and one for the chuck, yes. I'll have a little look through the in, uh, instructions and uh, come back. Okay, I've, read, I've uh, removed everything from the packets, everything had got uh, the uh, protective oil on it, so I've wiped all that clean. Um, we have got a grub screw that fits, you can see it, fits into there and there's a, another opening there that shows uh, so to give, give you access to the um, to where the screw goes. Uh, so we'll pop, pop that in with the uh, little, little leather piece, if that will drop in. going. Let's 
try and get it located. It's the leather piece that wants pushing down. Let's try that again. I don't suppose you can see that at all, but that's better. I think it's that's it, it's going in now. So we'll screw that down. That'll keep the uh, the chuck thread adapter in place. Um, this other one uh, to stop the um, chuck from loosening off in reverse, I will put in place because I haven't really got anywhere I can put it el elsewhere where I'm not likely to lose it. Oops. Uh, but I can't. I can't put the little leather pad in place because um, it'll just fall out. I think when I'm moving it around. So let me get that to the end of there. That's better. So I'll just pop that in there. Hopefully, it won't loosen off and fly off. So that's, that's that put together. Um, the uh, chuck jaws are, are one of them. Where are the numbers? Oh, there's the number. Number one. And we've got the numbers uh, corresponding to them. So we'll, we'll line those up with those. going to do, I've seen this done on YouTube elsewhere, I've just sort of fingertip tightened them, then I'm going to close the jaws up, hopefully that will align them better and then I'll finish off tightening them up. And you'll, this should be pretty accurate then, I should think. There we go. This one is very similar. Let me just get it out. Is very similar to my Robert Sorby chuck. In that um, you've got this this little setup with the um, Allen key that you can actually it's sort of articulated. So if you're struggling to get around the back of a big bowl or anything, you can put it at a slight angle and loosen and tighten it, which is exactly the same as on the uh, Robert Sorby chuck. I've had this one uh, quite a long time and it's been, uh, yeah, it's been very good. The only, pre only reason I went for the, because um, they're both made in Sheffield, which is where I come from, so that's a, something I like and um, uh, the, the main reason being that this is uh, considerably cheaper than the Sorby chuck and it seems to be pretty good quality. 
certainly the other one I've used I've had no issues with and I've had the smaller one as well the uh, S I think it's SE2 the two inch chuck which although it's small is still a really nice little chuck go over to there let's just see how it goes on and that goes on really nice if I wanted to bring you over a little bit if I wanted to uh, use it in reverse I could tighten that little grub screw and uh, have no uh, issues with the chuck flying off when it's uh, turning in reverse Right then, so, oh, while, I, while it's over there, this is quite handy, it has got, um, it has got one of these. Sometimes it's awkward to get hold of this, uh, and some of them have a, um, a spanner type place to get hold of, to, uh, a spanner to put on the back of there. This one's got this one, which I find quite good. And there we go. And it's also got the okay. And then we've got a nice, looks like a really nice solid um, face plate. And this is one of the type of face plates that you screw. You screw to the back of your, your piece of wood, and then you. Um, you bring it onto your onto your chuck and uh, open the chuck jaws onto the face plate, nice and solid. So uh, it's quite a nice little system that. And also your um, your wood worm screw, which fits uh, inside inside the chuck and lock, lock the jaws down onto it and screw your piece of timber after you've put the correct size hole into it screw the piece of timber on and it uh, sits against the um, top of the jaws there but yeah everything that you need really uh, to get going um, I don't keep the chuck in the box so uh, that's not a problem. The box is a little bit flimsy. Um, it looks like something that you might keep but really it's not, uh, it's not worth keeping because once you put the chuck together it won't fit in the box. So um, unless you take everything apart again you're not going to get it back in the box. Uh, but apart from that I don't, I'm not going to be using that box anyway. The instructions um, they've got in several languages and you go for the one that's got the English on the front and inside it's French but if you go for the one that's got the French on the front and go inside it's then in English so <laughs> I think that probably probably made a bit of a miss out there with the uh, putting those books together that's not a big deal um, I really like these. These are these are a great way of uh, uh, locking and unlocking the chuck. It's uh, it's a really nice way of uh, doing it instead of the instead of the sort of standard uh, chuck key. But having said that, this this works fine with the S3 um, SC3. Strangely enough, the SC2 comes with this this arrangement. Uh, even though it's a two-inch one, it still has this little arrangement, which is which is nice. Um, but all in all, it's a really nice. I don't know whether it's made in Sheffield, but um, but anyway, the Record Power is a Sheffield firm, um, and um, if it comes from Yorkshire, it can't be all bad. And uh, so so that's it. Hope it's of some use to somebody. 
Okay, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and leave a comment. Cheers now.